Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Oh, one moment. And... Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, never here from Drake Queen Gaming. It's something about Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Light My Way. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server, and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Long. Thank you, Miss Longfang. Atlas, have you cleared? Have you cleaned your room? Hmm? Mom, I'll take care of it if I have to. If you have to, look, you have guests. See what I have to put up with, Lucian. We'll be in my room playing some video games. Come on, Lucian. It was nice seeing you, Miss Longfang. Don't be a stranger, Lucian. You know you can visit any time. Ooh, excuse me. Alice starts telling me his parents want to help him save up. Are they divorced? I wonder if they're divorced, because it's supposed to be Mrs. if she's still married. Alice starts telling me his parents want to help him want to help him save up so he can buy his own place rather than rent rather than rent if the basketball thing doesn't work out. They also want him to feel like he earned his way through life, so he should work also work for it. Quite nice of them and responsible. How manly are you? Just have a picture of, like, a weight and a bicep. <laughs> His room is different than what I remember from long ago, but it's to be expected. Dumbbells, a workout bench, and clothes are everywhere. I'm certain the t-shirt I sat on has been worn multiple times without it being watched. The musk invades my nostrils and my jeans are starting to pitch a tent. I'm embarrassed at my reaction. I've had a crush on Atlas since I was a kid, but I've never gotten the feeling that he would be, in, he would be into me the same way. Atlas keeps excusing himself because of the mess. I nod, trying to get myself under control. He shoves everything he can find, laying around the floor, into a closet that sits next to me on the bed, grabbing a controller after turning on the console. Uh, give me that one, man. It's the one I use all the time. What? You can't fight me with you can't fight me with a different controller. I look down and see scratches on it. He's clawed at it a few times. I don't recall him being a sore loser, but then again, long time no chats. I give him his controller, and once in his paws, I see how his claws cover the scratched areas when the first fight starts. Abandon all hope, little cub. Your master has arrived. His exaggerated laughter sounds corny, but jolly, so I roll with it. The student eventually becomes the master, old-timer. Atlas snorts at the remark, attempting to overpower me with some strong moves, but not without risking quite a lot. Overconfidence makes it sweeter when you'll fall. The tiger pauses the game in the middle of the fight. Hey, I had you there. Want to make this more interesting? Let's make a bet. Best two out of three. Who's just to say something embarrassing about himself? You're on. I shouldn't have agreed so fast. Those claw marks give me the impression he might be better than he's letting on. But I already said yes. Alice restarts the match. He picks a different character this time. He gives me another gives me another beer and opens one for himself as well. Four minutes later, it's already two to zero for him. I got crushed. I was like, no. Obliterated, destroyed, vanquished. The tiger growls a little, a little, a little, a little celebrating his victory. Dude, that's really loud. Oh shit! Yeah, one other beer. This would be the fourth one I'm having. It's getting foggy. Ah, what the heck? Sure. You know this feels like old times again. It really does. I'm glad I don't have to. Glad I don't have to have. Glad I don't have to do those moves in real life anymore on your bullies. He poses in a comical stance by the door as if he's his favorite beast battles character. How can I not like him as much as I do? Yeah, I'm really glad, too. So you're gonna get those beers? As you command, my liege. Be right back. Hmm. Atlas leaves the room to get the beers. I pick up the t-shirt from under me and take a whiff. My members rock hard in seconds again, so I adjust it as best I can. I hide the t-shirt back under me again. There are so many jolts hitting me, much stronger this time. Then I see his light, the room brimming with it. It's so bright, I wonder how I haven't noticed it. Them beers. Without saying a word, Atlas puts the cans down and closes the door behind him. I hear the click of the lock. An emptiness in my stomach opens up, my blood dropping fast. What is he going to do? Another jolt and another. What is happening? I'm terrified by his look, but his gentle touch melts me into his bed the moment his paw caresses my cheek. He took all the anxiety and stress out of me with one motion of his paw. Oh yeah, it's sexual intercourse time. I can see his massive hard-on behind his practice shorts. 
I turn my eyes and meet his. Yep, there it is! As that scene, the confirmation he was waiting for drops the stiffness from his posture. His face is soft, his whiskers tickling me. I play with one of his fluffy ears as he is hugging me. So genuine and kind. I know because I can feel my light mixing in with his. Open my eyes when he stops kissing me. I've never seen my light doing these flowing movements. It reminds me of my parents when they help me recharge, but this is different. While their light mixed with, into a color, mine and Atlas's are kind of hugging. The amber rays start tangling themselves around my sapphire lights. With one finger under my chin, he motions me toward his mouth again. He kisses me, then pulls me, and then pulls on my clothes. I think he wants us to go all the way. He's the first guy I'm doing this with, and as scared as I feel now that I know what he wants, it's also a best-case scenario kind of thing. It's not like I didn't imagine this more than a few times already. My trousers drop to the floor, and I feel both his paws on my butt. His muscles bulge out as he picks me up, laying, laying me on the bed with him on top. He takes my sunglasses off so I can shut my eyes as fast as I can. Oh my... You know, I think you have beautiful eyes. That did catch me by surprise. He's such an amazing guy. I try peeking, but the tiger's aura is too damn bright. Atlas chuckles at my attempt and puts my sunglasses back on. Right now, I want to forget I see as I see lights around, folks. This right here, being with this tiger, is the best feeling I've ever had in my life. I grab his chest and dig my fingers into his fur, touching his nipples and hearing a moan. I take that as my cue to grab and pull. Atlas lets out a lustful growl that signals his desire to get things going. He's experienced, and it shows. Second, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Every moment he makes us, he makes us natural, and he's taking charge of me as if he knows that's what I want. Well, I'm sure the beers gave me the extra courage I needed for tonight. I would have done this at any other point had I been given the chance. I let him guide me through this experience while... Well, while trying not to blunder about, about for fear of spoiling the mood. A great turn-on for him from what I'm noticing with my arms wrapped around his chunky body. He's reaching his climax, and so am I. Open my eyes wide, sip on cue, and notice the spectacle above. The amber light is coming towards me. Like a practiced motion, I take my sunglasses off, st staring right into the glowing wonder, and I absorb it, unfazed by the mass of brightness. It burns, but I grip my fangs and take it in. Tears start flowing as I pull Atlas into my chest, he doesn't need to see me this way. The tears aren't from the pain I feel from the light. It sucks to have this, to see these things, whatever this shit is. It sucks so much, but I'm not going to ruin this. However, everything in me is screaming to catch this light no matter what, so that's what I do. My survival instinct's taking over. It's as if I've done this hundreds of times before. It is the first time I know of us. I know of aside from when it happened with my parents. I light some sides, and so do Atlas's flares. For the first time in years, I can look at him with my sunglasses. His fur is so colorful. His face and adorable and adorable I haven't ever seen as clear as today. This is how everyone else gets to see him every day. Fucking bastards. It doesn't take long for me to need my glasses again. It happened, though. My first time with someone, and of all the folk out there, I got to experience it with Atlas. My head's all fuzzy, and I have this warm feeling in my chest. This must be it. It's gotta be it. I think I love him. A knock at the door sends us both scrambling from this bed. Are you boys okay in there? I heard some noises. <clears throat> I don't have any parts, so... Alice's voice almost cracks with his first few words, but... He gets it back to his usual baritone, confident self. Uh, we're okay, Mom. I just spilled some beer on the floor. Beer. Yeah. Oh, Atlas, you need a towel? I can help clean up. Atlas looks at me all soaked. A few towels would be great, considering... Mom, thanks, but it's fine. I'll do it myself, okay? Mind your manners, cub. You have guests. Yes, Mom. We both hear the footsteps heading away from the door. After a brief moment, Atlas turns to me, grinning. There you go. Know. A little harder time. Okay. So, about that embarrassing thing. Eh. The next day, I woke up in my room giggling at what happened the night before. I absorbed his light today, I have such a sense of power within me. It's so different. Well, I'm not physically stronger, that's for sure, yet everything feels lighter. I text Atlas, I'm heading to his place. Hey, I'm on my way to yours. He doesn't reply. I'll go there anyway, like we talked about last night. There's a different car in Atlas's driveway. It must be Chrissy. 
It gives me pause to reconsider, but Atlas did say to go over there as, as early as I could. Atlas's mom greets me at the door with her usual happy demeanor. Hey, Lucian. What can I do for you? Hello, Mrs. Hello, Miss Longfang. I'm here to see Atlas. He's at practice. I'll let you know. I'll let him know you dropped by. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day, Miss Longfang. You too, Lucian. He didn't mention he's practicing a uh, lot, trying to go pro. His phone is in his locker for sure. I'll wait for him to text me. I spent the day around the house studying for what could be my future career, astrophysics. Learning about the stars makes me feel closer to them. Their existence alone is mesmerizing. The smell of food knocks me out of my st studying frenzy, and I hear my mom calling me downstairs for dinner. It's evening already? I, I checked my phone. No messages. Huh. Odd. Maybe Atlas is tired and will text me later. Oh. Well, Chrissy looks... different. Oh! That's his parents. Okay. Fuck. Sorry. What's for dinner? Your favorite steak and soya sauce with rice balls and sterling salad. It's a sterling salad. Sterling silver? They're eating sterling silver? What's the occasion, then? <laughs> Smart fox. You always have a nose for these things. I wanted to talk to you about your choices for universities. Come on, this again? I've already told you I'm staying here. I don't want to travel farther away. You know how things get sometimes. Yes, we do, but we also think that it's best if you choose Tyranon should you get in. They have a great support system for students who need more attention. Really, Mom? I need more attention? You're old enough to not make such a scene anymore and talk about the reality of your situation. Sit down and let's have a proper chat. It's time we have this discussion, Lucian. You're 18 now. We won't be here forever, you know. Wait, did anything happen? No, no, nothing like that. We want, we want what we think is best for you. Tyranon is the better choice by far out by far out of all the other universities you've applied to. It's farther away, yes, but it's what your mother and I hope you will choose. I went there, but that doesn't mean I have to follow in your footsteps. I have trouble in too I have trouble with too many folk in the same classroom here in Aurora. There'll be thousands of students in Tyranon. Yes, that's the point. Some might be like you. I'm sure you'll find someone there who can understand you better, but better than we do. Who could even understand all this crap? Thank you, y'all. Both of you don't get it. Then help us get it. It wouldn't make sense to you even if I tried. You know how I get when I start. Tears are swelling up in my eyes. This isn't how it's supposed to be. My parents' worry is genuine, and I can't do a damn thing to explain this awful situation. You know what? It's okay. We'll figure it all out later. Let's have dinner. The food's warm and it smells delicious. I think I lost my appetite. Appetite comes from eating. Don't leave. Please? I look at both of them and sit back down. They've been patient with me all these years. I owe them a lot, at the very least, to sit with them for dinner. Do we have any do we have any dessert, too? I made fruit pie, like when we used to eat when you were little. Mom sure knows how to tug at my feelings. It sounds great, Mom. We enjoy our dinner and soon start talking about my dad's work day and my mom's school and my mom's school schedule. I check my phone again. A text from Atlas. Hey, tired from practice. How about a Saturday evening? Great, see you then. I expected, but at least it's going to be this weekend. I'll get some beers ready tomorrow. It's only fair I buy the drinks this time. The weekend couldn't come faster. Thinking about my special night with Atlas over and over again made the days move slower than usual. Studying the advanced terminologies of astrophysics didn't help either, but the wait was worth it all. It's Saturday evening now. I walk across to Atlas's house. Beer's ready. Wait, that's Chrissy's car. Atlas is by the door looking in the distance. I wave once I'm in front of him to snap him out of whatever he was thinking about. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Y'all, I am tired. I'm going to head off. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!